Hello again, everyone. I'm here today with sort of an interesting thing. Um, this is from The Portable Painter, and I signed up for, it's, it's sort of like a um, Kickstarter campaign, but it was through Indiegogo, I believe is the name of the, the site where it's sort of a, you know, you put in money and they make the product and then send it to you. So this has been in development for months. <laughs> and of course, coronavirus kind of got in the way of doing this a little faster on their end. So I finally got this and I just wanted to show it off. So this is, like I said, from the Portable Painter. And those of you that don't know, there is a Portable Painter palette that you can currently get today that um, is about this big and I actually have one but I, I did not put it uh, anywhere near my table today so I will show it on the channel at some point in the future but it has two plastic sleeves that go over a little palette and then you can uh, take those sleeves off and then they attach to the side and it sort of sits on your knee for uh, doing travel painting. I will actually put a link to that particular product below because you can get that now. Um, and it's a great palette. I haven't showed it on the channel yet, but uh, it's, it's a really handy palette. So this is by the same people, and the, but this is a new one. It's a little bit smaller. So let's see. This is their little thank you letter that came. <laughs> Uh, I hope you find. I hope this message finds you safe and well. Thank you for your support and your contribution to my campaign for the new Portable Painter Micro, which is what this is, and also for your patience through all of the delays. Your perks are enclosed. I hope you enjoy your micro palette for many years to come. I started this journey in March of 2019. Yeah, so that that might have been when I signed up for this. <laughs> 15 months later, this is the longest it has ever taken me to see a project to completion, though there was that virus thing. I'm biased, of course, but am delighted with the final product. It's incredibly compact, yet fully functional. I believe you'll be pleasantly surprised at the overall fit and feel of the palette, both open and closed, plus the practicality of the mixing areas and the T-shaped finger grip works like a charm. I look forward to your thoughts and comments when you have a chance to try it out. Better yet, it would be great to see photos of how you use the micro and what you paint with it. If you have any questions about the palette or elements of its function, please let me know and I will be glad to answer them. The Indiegogo campaign has now ended. The micro and original portable painter classic, that's the one that I was telling you about earlier, will in future be available on our website, www.portablepainter.com. The site also has many resources that you may find useful. Please visit and subscribe for occasional updates. So this is a product, apparently, that is going to be available soon on their website. So I'm gonna put that aside. And this little picture here, that is what this looks like. So I think that these, <laughs> These little pans are my perks, I think, that go along with this little palette. So it's super small, comes in this little pouch, and then it comes with a little instruction booklet here. I'm gonna open this up and see if it has any information that might be useful. Okay, here it tells you how, oh, how it comes apart and all of that. So that might actually be useful. <laughs> so let's see. So let's lift it there. So there's a little top cap part. Let's see. So, oh, and this is another whole part that comes out. And then let's see, how does this fit together? Oh, and there's already extra, there's already pans in here. So this is, um, six more pans and three more full pans. So I'm assuming, oh, cause you would put those maybe just into here. Hmm. Cause I'm seeing, I was trying to see how that, how those full pans would actually fit in here. Cause it has this little divider in the middle that seems to be, um, in the same place. It doesn't seem like it would go anywhere else. Hmm. Okay. 
Well, you are learning along with me. So let's see. So you snap off the closure, you remove, so remove the lid, remove the palette, attach water container. Okay, so that's this. So that goes, does that go here? Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps I should have tried this out first before doing that. Okay. Um, oh, and so there is a little, hmm, interesting. Let's see. So, okay, so that gets attached to this. So I see where, okay. So, but that doesn't seem to fit that way around. They're both upside down. Huh, does it fit? Okay, so it shows this closed. Okay, yeah, so I think that goes, there we go, okay. <laughs> So that's how it goes. And then this goes on the other side, I believe. It slides into those little pieces there. And then that opens up. And then you put water in here, apparently. And so you open the palette. And I guess, I'm not really sure how this guy works. So there's a a little thing that that stands up in the back there. Perhaps it is just so that you can hold it. Let's see. T-shaped finger grip. Hmm. Okay. So this is the palette all open and then you'd fill it. And then Plenty of mixing areas. Well, I suppose this is only a mixing area if you don't fill it with water. Um, oh, and it tells you how to remove the half pans with the tip of a palette knife. Okay, I could do that. And... Okay. But I don't know if you can see, because there is, so there's this little ridge in the middle here and I don't think that that is removable. Um, and I don't have a palette knife handy, so I can't take these out and show you, but I'm guessing that you would probably only be able to put two full pans here and then two more half pans, but, and it only shows half pans in the illustration. Oh no, here, yes, okay. So here it shows two full pans and two half pans. So that's, that was my suspicion that you would probably only be able to do that because it says here even accepts full and half pans. I would assume that you actually could put pans in here, but then you, you wouldn't be able to close it up. Okay, so that was kind of complicated, <laughs> but it does seem pretty cool. So um, again, I'm not really sure how you would hold that, whether it would go like this maybe. Yeah, I mean, that feels pretty comfortable with just having it, in, I have it essentially in between my fingers here. <laughs> okay, well let's see now if I can take this all apart and put it back together. So these pieces came through here. And I believe that that just goes down in there. And then that goes there, and then there it is. That is pretty cute. So that certainly would be more pocket size <laughs> than their their other one. And again, I'll put a link to their their full size full size. It's still kind of travel size palette, and uh, so then you can see that as well. And like I said, I probably will profile the other one on the channel at some point soon. But I just wanted to show this to you now that I got it, and. Um, so it took me a little bit of fiddling to figure it out. I probably just should have read the instructions to begin with. But thanks for joining me. Feel free to like and or subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks so much. Have a great day.